All right, guys, welcome back to another video. It's your man, Jay. So you're looking at uh, the LG Velvet in desktop mode. Now, this is something that I would do if I was on the go or uh, I was, you know, taking, I would take a HDMI cable with me to plug up at a hotel, grab me a little mini keyboard or something like that. Lots of options you can use for desktop mode. Now, right now, I just have one, the also famous, you already know what it is, MX3 Black. And I got one of my wireless keyboards that I purchased. Um, and I have the Velvet sitting right here, just running to my 4K monitor. And the I got it running out of a little old, old little, this dongle is so old. Because I normally have this set up uh, with my Pixelbook Go. So I wanted to plug in and show you desktop mode. Because desktop mode is important to a lot of people. Some people don't have the ability to buy a full-fledged computer. And you have phones out there that have a desktop mode. Now, let me start with the cons of LG's version of a desktop mode. It is, in fact, nothing like uh, the Samsung DeX. Samsung DeX is incredible. But uh, Huawei has uh, a version wirelessly you can do or plug in. And I believe the new Samsungs can go wireless. I will test that for you as well. However, LG, it does have a desktop mode. No special setup. No nothing, you just plug in an HDMI, it'll recognize it, it'll, it auto powers on the monitor, and you start going. So I hooked up this setup here, but you can also do the combination style. I recommend this, uh, if you can find these, com this is only 40 bucks Logitech, I did a video on this. There where you don't have to pair two things, you just do one little dongle and plugs in to the port like that. Uh, but if you want to stay completely wireless, if you can, away from like things like that, or it's just not your preference, you can plug it up like this. Now, the cons I was getting ready to speak of. Um, one con, on the only problem I've had, and I'll start with a, 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 a problem I've had uh, since using the desktop mode, uh, and then I'll tell you the alternative to that, but and I'll tell you the one con. I really only have one con with this. Uh, but the one thing I had a problem with is the Twitter application on the actual, um, when you go into here and you try to open the Twitter app, for me, it doesn't open. Uh, it, it, it will open and close, you know, if I click on it, it doesn't open. But in fact, you can go to the web browser and use Twitter on your web browser like anything else. So that's something that I've had a problem with. And the alternative is to just use the web browser. And, and for me, if you're using the desktop mode, you should be looking to use things in this full view anyway, because you have this beautiful big monitor and you don't have to limit yourself to applications. And here's what I mean by limit. Here's Instagram. I don't like this layout. Everything's kind of zoomed in. It's not really a beautiful look and resizing it is kind of weird. It's kind of, it's, it's kind of strange, man. It's, I don't really care for it too much. So doing everything in the web browser. Obviously, YouTube looks great. Uh, I have it set to speakers coming out of the phone, but you can have it coming out of your monitor if your monitor has speakers, or you can have it come out of a Bluetooth setup. But I personally feel like this is the best layout to do uh, all the work that you're gonna do with uh, desktop mode. I like it like this, and I think this is the best thing about it. Now, the... Um, LG Velvet here. Let me go. I clicked on the wrong phone. That's definitely not the Velvet. Uh, <laughs> uh, they all look alike. Now, the LG Velvet is packing a Snapdragon 765G. It is a 5G phone. Uh, and it's got a 4,300 milliamp hour battery, obviously, 6.8 inch display, blah, blah, blah. But the desktop mode is something that I don't really see them promote too much. And the reason I brought the processor and the RAM is because, well, it can handle it. Uh, obviously, it can handle this. I'm, I'm running it just a, it's like a regular computer, like a regular Chromebook, if you will. You wouldn't know that this was the Velvet if I just covered this up or you didn't see it. Someone would think, man, how are you doing this? The monitor is built in. It's really cool. It's really cool. So the Velvet having this 765G with six gigs of RAM, it's actually, it, it's handled pretty much everything I've thrown at it. Uh, and that's just what it is. Now, an alternative to it, not, it, okay, another alternative to things not opening on the computer, uh, the from the desktop view, you could actually just press it on the phone, but I think that makes, that takes away from the experience. So um, the Velvet has the processing power uh, and it can handle pretty much anything I've thrown at it uh, when it has come to um, doing day-to-day -to -day tasks. It's, it's nice. 
I bought these um, um, and they're great, just so you know. I, I, I did a video on them. I wasn't planning on doing a video, but they're really good. I like them a lot. So I think you should check these out for real. Um, but yeah, just the things that you're going to do with it, your day-to-day -day task, I think you're going to be fine. Now, here's the only con I have um, pretty much. Let me see. I didn't go into settings yet on here, uh, but I was looking to see if there's a setting for desktop mode and I don't really see too much and again I'm not an expert so if you know more about desktop mode please school me on it I appreciate any feedback I, I'm nowhere near an expert and or claim to know everything but here's one thing I don't like I don't like how this app tray looks like it reminds me of when you plug up an iPad it's horrible it, it just everything's overblown it's just it, it just it's like you don't have the control you need I don't like it I don't like it at all uh, and I feel like if they're gonna do something like this, they really should put a little bit more time. And I know this isn't, you know, you know, some will say, oh, Jay, well, you know, it's not really meant to be used like this all the time. Well, that's kind of making excuses for LG if in fact you do think that way. I think that if they're gonna make something like this, go full throttle with it, you know what I'm saying? Don't don't have to do it uh, because I feel like that's what this is right here. This is a, this app tray, app drawer is horrible. It's just got, it just looks bad for desktop mode. I would like it if it would have been something um, like pop up on the side, like a real desktop or something. But other than that, folks, I mean, you obviously you have quick menu gal. You have all these different options and things. You just got the time and date down here in the battery. And I have a, I have a charger. This dongle has passed through. So it's charging the phone and it's powering uh, everything. You don't need the pass through. If your phone is at 100 or whatever your phone is at, um, I think the phone is going to die a heck of a lot sooner if you don't have some kind of pass-through power uh, to charge it. Uh, I really recommend that you get pass-through power. Or if your phone's at 100, you should be good for maybe an hour or so to get a little bit of use out of it or more. I've never tested it like that fully. But I noticed that the, the battery does drain faster when it's just no pass-through power to it. So if you're going to do this, make sure you have pass-through power through your dongle or whatever you're using. So other than that, folks, just a real brief look at um, desktop mode. It does look really cool. Uh, but it's not Dex level, in my opinion. Uh, there's, there's, some, I just, I could only, if, if I'm using this, I'm only going to use it for YouTube and web browsing. No other app will be used on this, probably. Oh, and my, obviously, the Quick Memo might be used, Gallery, things like that. But, um, pretty much these apps at the top up here is probably all I would use this for, uh, because you can actually do a lot in your web browser. I know this because of devices like the Pixelbook Go. It's a, one of the best laptops you could ever get, folks. If you're thinking about getting a laptop, the Pixelbook Go is one to uh, get and recommend. I will have an updated video I'm working on for that one too. But nonetheless, desktop mode for the Velvet, what do you think?